Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about the latest on Dembele. This transfer saga is taking a very interesting turn. I do believe that Barcelona are making their stance against Dembele's decision. And that is going to be something that we are going to be discussing within today's video. And then later down this video, we're also going to be talking about the recent injury updates regarding Ansu Fati and Pedri. But before we go into the rest of this video, I do want to talk about the One Football app. The One Football app is the best football app you could find with in the app store when it comes to the latest player news team news any transfer rumors you do want to follow regarding your favorite player or your favorite team that all is going to be compact within the one football app and for those of you guys who are within the uk you guys can also see la liga highlights so if you guys do want to see highlights regarding barcelona real madrid atletico madrid it is all going to be within the one football app and the best thing from all of this is that it is going to be for free so if you guys do want to download the one football app the barcode is going to be on the screen that you guys do see right here you guys can just use your camera it'll take you straight to the app store then you would be able to download it and then you'll be set and done from there also if you do not have a camera you can just click on the link in the description box down below again it will take you straight to the app store you would be able to download the one football app and then you'll be set and done from there it's a very easy process again this is the best football app that is available out there and i also do want to thank the one football app for supporting a content creator but now let's get back into the video but first let's talk about the main story of today and that is going to be about Dembele because the way that we are watching this unfold it is just so interesting because look Dembele never responded in time the agent never responded towards the offer in time and Matteo Leman made this very clear yesterday before the game against Athletic Club and he was speaking about Dembele's situation and how Barcelona are going to be handling this situation moving forward and this is what he said and I quote we understand that Dembele's decision is not to continue and our decision has been been communicated to him we only want committed players and we have told him that he has to leave the club as soon as possible and the fact that we have seen Matteo Alemán take a massive hit towards the agent and the player that my friends is a very big deal because Barcelona were basically silent over the past four to five months over this renewal and now we finally do have some words some statements coming from one of the board members in this club and that is again a very huge deal now the tensions have clearly grown between the player and this club and I do think that this is going to be the biggest mistake of Dembele's career because sportingly in Barcelona he was going to be having everything like he was going to be given the sporting project he was going to be given the leader role of this sporting project and he was going to be under Xavi Hernandez someone who does understand Barcelona's game he was going to teach Dembele how to be a proper winger in this club and finally be successful he was going to be having everything but again like I've said before he wants to throw this away the agent wants to throw this away because they do believe that financially they can find something better whether that's at a club like Newcastle because look the only team that I do see actually going for Dembele and actually trying to meet his demands which is like around 25 to 30 to 35 to 40 million euros it is going to be Newcastle but at this time right now and at his age which is 24 years old there is no reason for him to go to a club like Newcastle like Newcastle is by no means a very competitive club a club that goes to the Champions League every year or can compete for the top four within the Premier League and again Dembele is 24 years old like you really want to move to a club like Newcastle at this age when you know that this is one of the most critical times of your career that is very questionable that just shows me that the money is so important it does not even matter where you do play because I just do not see any other club trying to meet his demands like I don't see United paying 30 to 35 million euros for the player I don't see PSG paying 30 to 35 million euros for this player none of these clubs I just do not see and so yesterday when it came to the match between Barcelona and Athletic Club, this is the reason why we did not see Dembele because Barcelona do no longer see this player in their plans and we do have a report coming from Sique Rodriguez who has stated Dembele will not play for Barcelona ever again if he doesn't renew neither before nor after the window shuts this is the club's idea as of today so I do think that there is a full agreement between the board members the coaching staff even with the players that this is going to be the way they are going to be moving forward and even Xavi did say after the match against Athletic Club that the absence of Dembélé did not affect the team like they were basically saying we have moved on we're going to continue to move on because we just do not see any difference with and without Dembélé and look I'm also going to be standing in the exact same direction like I know that I have said that Dembélé is very good I know that I have said that Dembélé is a player that I want to see renew but he should not be playing for Barcelona because if you're a player that's telling the coaching staff and to join Laporta that you want to stay and at the other side of things on the on a business level when you're hearing also your agent saying that he 
he's only going to stay under these conditions you're just confusing Joan Laporta and Xavi Hernandez you're just deceiving the people and you cannot be playing with this club at this moment and, and at this time when Barcelona is at a very critical stage of their development we cannot play with players like this like that is going to be something that you and your agent are going to have to like figure out because if you guys are giving out two different stories two different decisions that's like deceiving us and you're confusing us and that is only going to make us more unclear on how we want to move in the future and that is going to affect our progress on the field and so the world is reacting towards this and one of the legends of Barcelona has said this so perfectly earlier today in a show which is on the channel of TUDN in other words their show is called Mission Europa this is a legend that I do respect he literally did just say this on a TV show it's very interesting you guys should watch it I do believe it's on cable but again this is what the Barca legend Stoshkov had to say earlier today on TV and I quote Xavi I applaud you for not taking him to the game because this locker room deserves respect 121 years of history deserves respect and if he doesn't show it then he should get out then he continues Mr. Laporta open the door and let him go these people who don't feel the colors of Barcelona just let them go I swear sweated for this shirt and then he continues to say this and I quote if you don't want to be in Barcelona at least don't stain the badge leave the shirt and say ladies and gentlemen I am leaving and then he finally ended it with telling Dembélé on air right on live TV and he said this thank you very much Dembélé for deceiving the people and so this was a very great way to put it I do applaud Stoshko for really making a stance and really like trying to put a voice out there for Barcelona I think that moving forward for Barcelona when it comes to our front three on the field we should continue to develop someone like Abde, a player that many of us do admire, and then we can see a front three potentially of Ansu Fati on the left, Memphis as the striker, and Abde on the right wing. Or we could see Ferran on the left if Ansu Fati is injured, Memphis as the striker, and Abde on the right wing. Or we could see Abde on the left wing, Dugla as the striker, and Ferran Torres as a right winger. There are many ways we can still form our front three, a front three that can be very effective, and I do have my faith that Xavi can get the best from these players. Now let's move on to towards the recent updates regarding Ansu Fati and Pedri because these are two players who have featured in the game against Athletic Club. We did go to extra time and throughout that time I remember seeing many players cramp up on the field and they were asking to see if they could leave the pitch because their bodies could not last no more and one of the players that had to leave in this game it was one of our top youngsters which is Ansu and Pedri but let's first talk about Ansu Fati because he was literally on the ground and he could not continue for Barcelona no more so it has been said from Barcelona that he has injured his left formal bicep which is on his hamstring and this was the exact same injury that did happen about two weeks ago it does have nothing to do with the knee injury that took him out for like about a year and so he is expected to be out for about four to six weeks and I do expect Ansu Fati to be out for the full six weeks now four I think that they're going to continue to really slowly integrate him back onto the field and I think that this is a huge loss because he does give brand new energy towards the front three yesterday our attack looked much more alive with with Ansu Fati on the field and so of course he's going to be missing all of February I do expect him to return by the time we do play against Elche or Osasuna and then as for Pedri it does say here according to Tony Juan Marti first impressions show that Pedri hasn't suffered any injury or at least nothing serious worth worrying about and I remember with Pedri he was literally asking the coaching staff that he wanted to be subbed out it made me very nervous because he did only return about two weeks ago and so on the 105th minute that is when they did take Pedri out and he was asking way before like on the 93rd minute like they were still giving him about 12 more minutes to play on the field even though he was asking to be out from the field so it was a moment where I was really nervous but it is great to see that Pedri is doing well and it does say here according to Helena Condis that Pedri is fine and that we also do have another report saying that it was just a fatigue he will be available for the next game so Pedri someone that is needed in the starting 11 he is the most effective and the most dominant player in the midfield and he does not necessarily just play now just to develop as a player he is someone who is mandatory for the success of Barcelona.